Chances are your trip will start and end in the capital city of San Jose. Now, this is a beautiful city filled with all different types of architecture. I found plenty of examples of modern architecture that were interesting, as well as classic churches and beautiful museums. The city itself is quite enjoyable, but I will recommend a couple of key things to think about. First up, make sure you consider shooting handheld. Now, there tends to be a fair amount of light in the city, plenty of things coming from street lamps, cars, available lighting, so you can often get by. It's one less thing to carry. I did find that as I tried to take my tripod into certain places, it was a no-no. No tripods in the museum. No tripods in the world-famous opera house. In fact, I got chased out of the opera house because my camera looked too good. But the opera house is still worth visiting. Just figure out a way to be more covert with your photography or pretend to be much worse at it than I was pretending to be while I was there. Another thing with the architecture is the ability to shoot HDR. Now, this can be seem difficult without a tripod, but if you tuck those shoulders in, it's a lot simpler. Or use a ledge or an edge or the top of a trash can, the side of a light pole, a railing. The details will really bring things out. After all, HDR does a great job with subtle details in the shadows and highlights, which will preserve some of the rich shadows and metallic glints that you'll see in a busy urban environment. Now, besides all of this, I also recommend you bring a street lens with you, a nice portrait lens. I was shooting mostly DSLR that day, and I used an 85 millimeter prime. This is a great lens for getting shots of people on the street. Now, you may need to ask for permission for their pictures, so I recommend you learn how to ask for that in Spanish, although most people in the capital city will actually tell you that they speak English well enough. But San Jose is a great city to visit. You'll likely have at least one day there when you land, and because your flight will likely be early the next day, you'll probably be able to get some time in the night before you fly. Just be careful though, the crime rate in the city does spike at night, so I would not recommend going out for a nighttime photo walk. Do your shooting during the day, and if you have that tour guide, this might be a great time to still keep them for a citywide tour. If there's any equipment that you forgot, this is the one place where you will find camera stores. So if there's something you need to pick up, make sure you get it when you land. 